It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. What's the deal? Duval County, here in Florida. On the banks of the St. Johns River, we look inside Everbank Stadium in Jacksonville. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico with Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that feel like they have all the pieces. Just came up short last year. They were so excited to get 2024 going and try to make another run to get into the postseason. Yeah, and both these teams absolutely fall into that category. And just last year, going into the season, Mike, not only did they have playoff expectations, but in a lot of ways, they had Super Bowl aspirations. They believe that if the things fall their way, they catch a break, they continue to stay healthy. The roster they have put together is a playoff roster, if not a Super Bowl roster. All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft out of USC. It's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say that the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. We get this to about midfield. It was Andre Sisco there to bring him down. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is how you draw up your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. A give to Jones, heading right. Credit him for trying to escape. The defense, though, was on that. And finally, they bring him down behind the line. This ball carrier just didn't want to go down. And this defense, they had to throw everything they had at him, Mike. He just kept fighting and fighting. But finally, when they were able to get him on the ground, they were able to do it for a loss. In motion, it's Jefferson. Third and short yardage, and here's Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. That one doinks off the left, upright, no friendly bounce. It's no good. And this will stay a scoreless game. And that's just a tough way to finish off what was a good opening drive. 
And obviously, as a kicker, you have to have a short memory. But you can bet he'll be thinking about that one the rest of the way. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw right away. That's caught. It's the former Bill, Gabe Davis. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. On first down, Lawrence. A throw here, right side, falls incomplete. Gabe Davis, the intended receiver, and that will lead to a second down. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. In the pistol, here's Lawrence. There's a short one taken by Ingram. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him. And now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. They'll come up to third and three. They'll try and run for the first with ETN. Give him 16 there and a first down. Over the last couple years, Mike, we've seen the trend in the NFL is that third down has really become a passing down, but not here. Not for this team. They keep the ball on the ground. They're able to pick up a big gain. Fresh set of downs. They'll go back to ETN on first down. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game. Couple nice big explosive runs. Expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds. They'll run it once more with ETN. Not much. Second and long coming up. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. So, fourth down, and on comes the rookie, Cam Little, for this Jaguar field goal. This from 40 yards out. Little's kick is good. And the Jaguars are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal.
The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. To return, it's Brandon Powell. And he'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shop. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. Taking this one downfield for Hawkinson. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Now Jones. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. Darnold to throw. He's got his tight end, Hawkinson. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. Up the middle, here's Jones. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll go play action with Darnold. Looking for Jefferson deep downfield. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Off the play fake. Here's Darnold. That's caught left side by Hawkinson. And he'll be out of bounds. It's a gain of four, and that gains them another first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Jones. And good hard running will get him down close to a first down. Might be a yard short. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. 
but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. To try and run for the first down with Jones. And I don't know, I think he is short. They are, they're going to mark him short. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. He makes up for the earlier miss. This time, the kick is good. And the Vikings will tie the game at three apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal draws us even. It is now 3-3 as the kicks away. On the return, it's Parker Washington. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. First and 10. The drive begins with a carry from ETN. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Second down and eight. On the draw, the give to ETN. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Anytime you run a draw, you're hoping the linebacker reads pass and starts dropping into his pass coverage. That's what creates space for your running back to get going. Well, not this time. The linebacker saw it from the jump. He's able to penetrate in the backfield and take the runner down for a loss. That one on target to Davis. He's got it. They get 12 yards on that pass. First down, Jacksonville. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. And he's going to wind up losing yardage here, and that will take us to the end of the opening quarter of play. So, a field goal apiece here in that first quarter. All even on the scoreboard. We'll have more from Jacksonville after this. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. In motion comes Thomas. Second down, Lawrence. That's complete. It's Parker Washington. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. 
We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll run it with Jones to begin this drive. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It was Andre Sisco there to bring him down. play fake it's Darnold he's gonna let one fly for Addison back in the day Mike you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense the guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense and now that's obviously not the case anymore but this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap we're gonna try to pick this up on third and eight here's Darnold this one brought in by Hawkinson. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. Here's first and ten. In motion comes Thomas. Lawrence now to throw on first down. This one complete to Washington. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Brian Thomas, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Lawrence gives this one to ETN. And he'll take this up past the 40, a pickup of five. Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down and five. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. So the hope is your one third down conversion from really jump starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, Kind of throws a wrench into those plants. Oh, not the greatest punt there. This is going to hit and go out of bounds. They'll put Addison in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. Not much happening there, just a short game.
Here's a second and nine. Darnold. Here comes the screen to Jones. And he's taken down up past the 35. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. It was Andre Sisco there to bring him down. Third and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. That's caught. Left side, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. They get 25 on that connection. First down, Minnesota. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. On first and 10, here's Darnold. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. This pass, right side, going to be caught by Addison. Third down, three to go. Darnold to the air once more. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there with that third down conversion. Continue to possess the ball. These opportunities to come away with points continue to go up. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. They'll put Addison in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. A tough spot here. Third and long. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He's got a receiver, it's Addison. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Really nice throw there. The ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter. 
yes, arm strength and all that, but it's also timing. The timing of the route. When is that wide receiver coming out of his break to deliver that ball accurately as his head comes around? If the ball's thrown too early, the receiver's not ready. If the ball's thrown too late, that's when disaster strikes. They'll run it here with Jones. A ah, good blocking, and he's in. Aaron Jones. Touchdown, Vikings. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Now for the point after. He's got it. And the Vikings take a 10-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Washington now to return it. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. They'll come up here first and ten. They go play action for Lawrence. That's into the hands of Travis Etienne. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. A good spot here, second and a yard. They put Strange in motion. The carry here for ETN. And he'll get a couple of yards, and that's good enough for the first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. On first and ten, Lawrence. He'll find the rookie from LSU, Brian Thomas. They get 16 on that connection. That's good for a Jaguar. First down. Nice play here by Thomas. And I think the biggest thing that he does, Mike, is his ability to get vertical, track the ball, and then go up and compete at the highest point. And I can tell you, when quarterbacks can throw that ball anywhere on the field and just feel like their guy is going to come down with it, they don't have to be necessarily as accurate. They don't have to necessarily always be perfect. The wide receiver allows a much larger margin for error, and it's a big reason why he led college football last year in touchdowns. That is sweet. Gain a 16 on back-to-back -back plays. And another first down. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They put Strange in motion. They'll run. It's ETN. 
and he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Jacksonville. After this timeout, third and long. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. So now a timeout for the Vikings. That is their first. Cam Little for this field goal attempt. Officially, this will be a 43-yarder. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Jaguars cut the lead to four. It's 10 to six. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Powell now to bring it back. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Darnold now to throw. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes and there is a lot of room to operate. Open man downfield. It's Addison. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control and... They got to see if they can finish this thing off. Darnold to throw again. Now he'll run it. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and most importantly, a first down. Mike, this is an impressive run, especially considering the fact it was zone coverage. That's a lot of defenders with eyeballs in the backfield focused on the quarterback. So to be able to escape the pocket and pick up good yardage, really good play. Darnold to throw on first down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Throwing. Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently. Not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So... Can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. He'll try and get there on the ground. 
The Jags will use the first of their timeouts here. The clock is stopped with 26 seconds until the break. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. Now, Darnold. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Minnesota. Not going for two, they'll kick the point after. His kick is good. And the Vikings are able to extend the lead. It's now 17 to six. Very little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. And no chance to return this one through the end zone for a touchback. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And a minimal gain here, only to about the 31. Now second down throw for Lawrence. That's complete to ETN. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. Here's third and two. Lawrence. Now a screen set up for ETN. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Lawrence. He's going to air this one out. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half.
both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Washington now to return it. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing is Lawrence. That's to the right side and incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. At sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others he just misses too many easy throws question is are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out they'll give it to ETN on the option he'll turn this into a gain of about four it's going to lead to third down Now Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution especially in the passing game and it's another wasted drive and he's going to be brought down after a short return and that's where his team will get possession of the football the Vikings offense and Sam Darnold heading back on the field and he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one this defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers he has been terrific all game long They'll put Addison in motion. Play fake to Jones. Now Darnold. Here's a ball thrown deep right sideline. Really nice play there by the defender, Mike. He realized there was probably no opportunity to come away with the interception. Next best thing, get your hand on it, break up the pass, put an end to that play pretty quick. Darnold to throw on second down. Here comes the screen to Jones. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. Throwing on third down is Darnold. Taking off, he'll try to get there. A gain there of 23 yards. It'll be a Vikings first down. And this is when it just gets very frustrating as a defense, because this is what it's been like all day. The pass rush is good, but just not quite good enough. They let him slip through, and he burns them with big yardage. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Now a handoff, Jones, good blocking to the 15. And they finally get him down, but not before he brings it to the four yard line. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. 
It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Here's a run. Oh, he coughs up the football. The Jaguars have it. Boy, that one hurts, Greg. They had a really nice drive going and moved it halfway down the field, but then fumbled down here in the red zone, and the defense comes up with a turnover. Anytime you put together a drive of this length, Mike, you just want to come away with points. Of course, a touchdown is the main goal, but in this case, to turn the ball over this deep in the red zone is just a brutal turn of events for this offense. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay, so this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose and are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field so that one overturned they say the runner was down and that will not be a fumble They are very fortunate to get another shot at it. It is second down and goal. Darnold to throw. That is caught by the tight end. T.J. Hawkinson. Touchdown, Vikings. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good. And the Vikings will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Washington now to return it. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll give it to ETN to start this drive. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Second down, Lawrence. A quick slant into the hands of Thomas. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down, coming up. Now here's Lawrence. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Nothing real fancy on that one. Just a defensive lineman winning his one-on-one -on -one matchup. He beats the offensive lineman, gets to the quarterback, and brings him down for a sack. Jaguars ready to punt this one away as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. 
And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Vikings offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. The drive begins with a carry by Jones. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. We'll try again. It's second and 10. Here's Darnold. The second down throw is incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On third down, here's Jones. It'll be a punt coming from the Vikings. As he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, not a good punt there. This is a duck. The Jaguars offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it on first down Lawrence and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. The tight end, Ingram, is on the move. Lawrence now on second down. That caught by Davis. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They'll try and run for the first with ETN. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. First and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That's caught over the middle by Thomas. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. A first down throw for Lawrence. 
This one complete to Washington. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Gabe Davis. Touchdown, Jaguars. Greg, I love the precision on that play. Very little time, very confined space, and they come through with the touchdown. And it's the accuracy of the throw, Mike, that protects his receiver. Everything down here near the goal line is so condensed. You understand you're going to be thrown into tight windows, but when you trust your quarterback to protect you with the ball placement, it gives you a lot more confidence going across the middle of the field, and in this case, pays off for a touchdown. Extra point by Little is good. And the Jaguars are able to cut into the deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Powell now to bring it back and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 the Vikings offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and he's had it going in the first half really had his way with the secondary they have been powerless to stop him now they're trying to keep it going They'll put Addison in motion. Right away, they'll try a jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. On the give. It's Jones. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. That's Darnell Savage up from the secondary to make the stop. What can they do here on third down and seven? Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He's got his tight end, Hawkinson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. On the handoff, Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 40. Tyson Campbell there to make the tackle. Here's second and six. On play action, here's Darnold. To the left side here. Caught by Addison. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down.
They'll run the toss here with Jones. And a good tackle out wide will hold them to a gain of just three. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. To try and run for the first down with Jones. yard and it's fourth down they'll run for it and it's Jones and he's going to pick up the Vikings first down oh they take a chance there on fourth and one but it's a gain of three and a new set of downs a little test of wills up front huh Mike I mean who wanted this one more who would get off the line quicker who would drive the other side backwards Pretty impressive that not only are they the ones that won the battle, the defense knew what was coming and still couldn't stop. It. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? A oh, great job by this defense. Nowhere near the end zone as we get to fourth and goal. So on now is John Parker Romo to try the field goal. This a 31-yard attempt. Romo's kick is good. And the Vikings will extend their lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Devin Duvernay. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he's into a slide to avoid the contact. Does so successfully, and it's a first down. 
A first down there on a pickup of 17. Mike, this is great awareness by the quarterback manipulating the pocket. He feels the pressure coming on around him, but so often the soft spot is moving up in the pocket. That's exactly what he does. Takes off down the middle of the field, picks up good yardage, and a first down. And a good job defensively to rally to the ball. They hold him to a short game. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. In motion comes Thomas. To throw is Lawrence. Quick hitting slant there. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike, I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Now, second down throw for Lawrence. They'll try to set up the screen here. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. He's going to air this out for Davis. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So often, Mike, defenders are just happy the ball ends up in his hands, but not this guy. I mean, the catch was one thing, but then the party really got started. I mean, look at this return. He gets one block. He gets another. He's got teammates springing him all over the field. And this offense is lucky. This didn't go all the way back for a pick six. Here comes Aaron Jones and the Viking offense as they take over once more. And this has been a nightmare game for him so far. He had the lost fumble earlier and limited success running against this stout defense. Come off the field a couple of times shaking his head. What can you do? Right now the answer is he can't do much. From the 35, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. You let this go deep for Jefferson. I could sit up here all day, Mike, and we could talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved a touchdown along the way. Throwing on second down, Darnold. Quickly, he gets it out to his right. And he will score. Jalen Naylor, touchdown Minnesota. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Now, the extra point. It's up and through. And the Vikings will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Duvernay on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. On first and ten, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. A second down throw for Lawrence. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Here's Lawrence. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. It's a gain of 10. And they'll get a fresh set of downs. Lawrence now to throw on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Open man is Davis. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. There's a short one taken by Ingram. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. In motion comes Thomas. Second down, Lawrence. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's his ability to change direction. He's able to go from his back pedal to then driving that route fast enough that he gets to the ball immediately as it arrives, and he's able to knock it down. They'll come up to third and three. Throwing is Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. And truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. He's got his man. It's complete to Thomas. And he's going to have the first down. An aggressive call there. But it works out as they convert on fourth down. Lawrence. It is brought in in the end zone. Brian Thomas. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. 
They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. He gets it to go, and the Jaguars are able to edge a bit closer. Even with three timeouts plus the two-minute warning, they're going to try an onside kick. Past midfield. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not going to work out. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. They run straight ahead with Jones. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game, Mike, I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had the lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game they'll put Addison in motion and he'll work his way for about four yards and that's good enough for a first down so two minutes left to play in the second half Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Up the middle, here's Jones. And not a whole lot to speak of there. He'll work it down inside the 35. Second down and eight. They'll put Addison in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. They run it once more with Jones. And now we get a timeout by the defense. So the clock stops with a minute 50 left in the game. So on now is John Parker Romo to try the field goal. This will be a 48-yard attempt. Romo's kick is good. And the Vikings add on to their lead. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points.
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Duvernay on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. On first down, Lawrence. He will find Thomas. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Didn't take them long to get now to their opponent's side of the field. I like the idea of starting this drive with some explosive pass plays. That's going to open everything up, both underneath in the passing game and on the ground. So big play to get this drive off to a fast start. That caught by Davis. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Stefan Gilmore. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. They'll come up here first and ten. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So it is a win for our visitors, the Vikings. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.